it's pretty well known that Buffalo has never hit the 100 degree mark, at least not to our knowledge. But last month, the World Meteorological Organization confirmed that a town in Siberia, yes, that Siberia, actually did. I'll break down how it happened in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Western New Yorkers love bragging on their hardiness and tenacity. I mean, how else would we survive our winters? But we've got nothing on northern Russia, an area that stretches well into the Arctic Circle, specifically Siberia, which has an average January temperature several degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Siberia is set up to be colder than Buffalo on the regular, but now there's one town that can actually say it's been hotter than Buffalo ever has. The record itself is both mind-blowing and somewhat alarming. The town is Verkhoyansk. It's 1,700 miles north of Buffalo's latitude. The average summertime high is in the mid-60s compared to Buffalo's low 80s. Back in mid-June, a huge blocking high anchored right over Siberia and kept any hope of cooler air barricaded to the north. The same air sat over the region for weeks, and at that latitude, the sun doesn't set at all in June. All key factors in record heat, but for Koyans, couldn't have reached the century mark without decades of prior warming. Because of climate change, the Arctic Circle region is warming three times faster than anywhere else on the rest of the planet. Now, the atmosphere is holding more carbon dioxide, which means it's trapping in more heat. That gradually raises the global air temperature, but ocean temperatures have been rising as well. And that's really been a problem in the Arctic Circle in particular. That's because Arctic sea ice is becoming more and more scarce. Actually, seven of the last 10 years have made the list of top 10 lowest ice coverage for the Arctic. So the stage was set for record heat, but Buffalo has been in similar short-term weather patterns too. An unusually warm spring dumping into a hot summer. So why was Verkoyansk able to hit the triple digits when Buffalo hasn't yet? I think part of the answer lies in the humidity, or lack thereof. Around here when it gets hot, it's usually because there's some kind of southwesterly wind flow, and that means we're tapping into some humidity too. But for Koyansk's location, both the fact that it's so far north and that it's almost 2,000 miles north of an ocean, means that the air there is extremely dry. Dry air can heat and cool to much bigger extremes than warm air. Still, if it can reach 100 degrees in the Arctic Circle, you gotta think that it's possible for it to do the same in Buffalo. Now, we love our winter records, and some of us wear our sporting records like a badge of honor, but that heat record, it's not one that we should be wanting. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.